In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the present value function in Excel. Um, one use of the present value function is to determine how much you would have to start out with to reach a specific savings goal. So this is a savings problem. And in this example, uh, our goal is a million dollars, which is the future value uh, 30 years from now. And we're assuming um, a 10% return, and we're going to save $100 at the beginning of every month uh, for 30 years. Uh, how much are you going to have to start out with uh, to reach the goal? Um, now, I suppose it's possible that uh, these numbers could get you to more than a million. Uh, if that's the case, then you would um, start out with, well actually the number you start out with here is going to be a negative number. If it turns out to be a positive number, uh, then that means that you'll have more than a million dollars at the end of that time. So let's uh, start identifying the numbers. The payment is going to be a hundred dollars every month. We're going to do 12 periods per year. We're going to do this for 30 years. And the annual interest rate is 10 percent. And uh, the ending balance, that's our goal, is a million dollars. And we're going to do these uh, payments at the beginning of the month, so we need to put a 1 in here. And again, uh, notice I did not put values in here or here. I put formulas here. Uh, the number of periods is always the periods per year times the years. And the rate per period is the annual rate, 10% uh, divided by the number of periods per year. Okay. So, um, how much money would I have to start out with? Well, that's going to be a um, present value problem. I don't know how much money you're going to have now. And the rate is always the rate per period. Uh, the number of periods is uh, this value. Uh, the payment is going to be negative. And it's going to be the $100 up here. The future value is this. And the type is going to be this. Okay, And Let's click on OK. Now I get a negative number here. Uh, the negative number means I would have to have $38,919 in the bank to start out with. Um, the beginning balance or the present value is considered the sum of a bunch of payments that you've already made. Payments are always negative, so this should be a negative number. Now, if I increase this value here to the point where I get a positive number for my answer, Let's put $200 there. Um, $300. Wow. Okay. So if I get to the point uh, where I can put $500 in every month, um, then what this positive number here means is that I could start off with a, a negative balance in your account, which doesn't make much sense, but I could start off with a value of negative 7,000 in there, and it's a little confusing because this is a positive number, but uh, normally uh, that beginning number would be treated as a negative number because it's the sum of a bunch of payments. So uh, basically what this means is uh, that I wouldn't have to have any money at all in the bank to reach my goal of a million, and actually um, I could exceed a million. Uh, if I make payments of five hundred thousand or five hundred dollars every month, uh, and now how much you'd exceed it by, uh, you'd have to go do a future value problem to figure that out. But this is another example of using the present value problem, um, in this case, to figure out how much money you would have to save or have to start off with uh, to reach a particular savings goal.